Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Josh right here, back again with another video on Road to Glory College Football 25. Josh Wright, starting quarterback of North Texas. As you can see, we are playing the Temple Owls in this one at home. As you can see, I made some customize the, the jerseys a little bit. I decided to go with the, the black jerseys, but with the green helmets. I thought I thought that'd be a pretty cool look. Uh, for this game, considering it's going to be our first uh, conference home game of the year. So, yeah, I don't know. I just don't know, thought, thought it would be pretty cool. Uh, I do want to say real quick, this video is being pre-recorded. I am currently making this video at uh, Tuesday night. Uh, this video will probably be posted on Wednesday or Thursday, one of the two. So a little handoff to Ragsdale, a favorite to win the Heisman this year. Takes it down to the 41. It's going to be a huge first down. I think that was a gain of 20 on the play. And as you guys can see in the background, the uh, the, the band music still going on, but it's a little softer this time. So it's it's not, it's not going to give me a big headache uh, like the, the last home game was. There was like literally one game where it's like half of the video I was... I was trying to go into the settings and find a way to like turn turn the music off. But one thing I learned is like when you it turn the band music off, uh, it kind of turns the, the the crowd volume down a little bit. So yeah, a little bit of a of a con there, but at the same time it's like it's whatever, I guess. Uh, but but I like to have a little bit of the crowd noise on in the background just in case you know i don't want people to the comment being like oh what happened uh to the sound like the background like all you guys could hear was was me talking anyway so third and 14 looking for a man open passes caught by a number 11 he's going to take it down and north texas strikes first on a beautiful Touchdown pass, or on a beautiful touchdown right there to number 11. And it looks like Temple is going to keep things interesting. They scored on their last possession. There's five minutes left here in the first quarter. So this could be a pretty interesting game. This could be a good game. You know, this could be a close game. This could be a blowout. You know, it could be, it could be anything. You know, Temple could probably pull off this win. North Texas could probably pull off the win, which is what we want. Another thing we want is uh, number 26 to take it all the way down for a touchdown. And I do not think that's Ragsdale. I believe that's Evans. Like I said before, I don't know. Yeah, that's Evans. Don't really know my team very well. I uh, I should probably should probably uh, learn the names and stuff. You know, I'm, I'm a sophomore. This, this is my sophomore year. Um, you know, I've been... Been here for a while, been in North Texas for a while. I should probably know who's who. But at the same time, you know, got to stay inside sometimes in the dorms, you know, studying for big tests. You know, can't really go out partying and that type of stuff, you know. The coach the coach keeps his eye on me. You know, my 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 academic advisor is always calling me, being like, hey, make sure you study for this. Make sure you study for that. It's kind of like real college, to be honest. It's like, And then you got to write, like, big like a 1500 word essays. Yeah, like I said before, sounds like real sounds like real college. All right, we could not convert on that third down. I don't know why we didn't go for it on fourth and one, but you know what? I'm I'm not going to question it. Looking at some scores around the league, California beat North Carolina 23 to 20. Liberty had a big win ag against uh, Florida International. And Ragsdale is going to take it all the way down for a huge touchdown. Vote for this man to be the Heisman winner. Dude, this guy is just so much fun to play with. As you guys can, if you guys have watched this series, you guys know we do run the ball quite a bit. Ragsdale, he's a, you know, I've had my, uh, my concerns about him, but he is, by far a really great running back. I think uh, I, I think I've done a pretty good job with uh, helping him out. You know, be one of the best running backs 
in college football. And who knows, maybe he could be a high of draft pick in the NFL this coming April. So we'll see. Don't know why I, I, I uh, sounded very robotic there. But Ragsdale, again, a four on the play, second and six. As you can see, North Texas is starting to make, have a big lead here. 21 to 7 is the score. And if this lead keeps getting bigger, it usually means that uh, I'm probably going to be sitting out for the second half. If not, then my coach usually has me play the third quarter. And then we're usually out when the fourth quarter comes, or when the fourth quarter starts. And then that's when all the backups come into play. Hand off to Ragsdale, and that is going to be first and goal at the five. Let's freaking go. All right, 12 minutes, 55 seconds left to go. Little handoff up the middle to Ragsdale. Is he going to find the end zone? He will. Touchdown, North Texas. Let's freaking go. 28 to 7 is the score. 10 minutes left before halftime. Another handoff, this time to number 11, who scored the first touchdown in the game. And he's going to take it all the way down to the 26. And there's the cheerleaders. Band is going nuts. This crowd's kind of going nuts. As you can see, there's a Temple's student section on, on, the, on the left side of the screen. Second and seven. Nine minutes, 50 seconds left to go. I don't mean... I don't can't speak i don't mean to keep uh talking about you know the clock uh i i will admit if you guys watched my live stream on madden i don't really don't really uh announce football games very much i again baseball is really my number one sport fourth and eight there that is it's whatever so temple will have the ball back looks like they couldn't do anything luckily though we did get a field goal out of that so it's 31 to 7 Try and go for a deep pass to number 22. And he, he held on to it. He's taking it down. Touchdown, North Texas. I thought that was intercepted there for a second. It was either intercepted or it looked like an incomplete pass. And just like that, it is a 30-point lead. 31-point lead, I should say. And we have the ball back at the, tw at the 23. Let's go. Our defense must be having themselves quite a day. And that is just a couple yards there on the play there. Nothing really special to write home about. I'm a scrambler. I'm going to take it down myself. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, man. Brought down at the 7. Thought I had something there. I, I, I could have just ran it in myself. You know, Ragsdale, he was teaching me. My running backs have been teaching me stuff. One thing they didn't teach me was how to jump over defensive linemen and, and and score touchdowns like that. That is something they did not teach me. Well, I'm going to ask I'm going to have to ask them to teach me after this game. And uh, something we're going to have to teach is one of my offensive linemen to uh, prevent that sack from happening because it's second and 19. Big pass to number 11. It is Caught, and it's a first and 10 at the 33. Big first down right there. Five minutes, 17 seconds left to go here in quarter number two. And a handoff up the middle to Ragsdale, and that is first and 10. Five minutes left to go. is open again, and he's going to take it down for a touchdown. A little, a little gritty there. I, I don't know what that is, but uh, yeah, that happened. 52-7, to seven, so is the score. I don't really know if some colleges do this. I know some high schools do this. My high school does this anyway. But after the, so say we're up by like 50 points 
in in the first half, like we score like 50 points or whatever. Heading into the second half, we have like a running clock. I don't know if a lot of colleges do this. I don't know. I don't really think they do. I don't know if other high schools do this, but my high school does. Like if we have like a big lead heading into the second half, we usually just have a running clock. We we just put the backups in, and uh, we we have a running clock for the rest of of the game. Again, not too sure if that happens everywhere, but happened at my school. I went home for the weekend, and uh, my high school is having having their first home game of the year. Went to the game just because why not? You know, I could do that. I can do that. I'm allowed to. And we were absolutely killing the opponent team or the other school that we were playing. And uh, we had a 50 nothing lead. Uh, we were up by 50 at the end of the first half. And sure enough, we uh, end up having a running clock. So, yeah, I'm not too sure if D2 or D3 school colleges might do that. I, I imagine they do. I imagine a lot of high schools do that. Comment down below. Anybody who played high school football, if you guys had like big leads, would you guys have running clocks or not in, in the second half? I am curious to find that out. Big pass right there to number 80, and that's going to be another North Texas touchdown. Oh, my goodness. We are absolutely lighting up this Texas or this Temple defense. And so that means the backups come in for the second half. And, well... That's the game. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. North Texas pulling off another big win, 73-17. to We scored 45 points in the second quarter. That is insane. Like, like that, that, that's probably, like, that, that's insane. Player of the game, 295 passing yards, 80% completion percentage, five touchdowns. Again, 45 points alone in the second quarter is insane. But that's going to do for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Make sure to leave a like. Best way to share your support. Subscribe if you're new here. And if you enjoy the content, click that bell icon to be notified whenever we upload new videos. Uh, we have a couple other series that we do. gaming, Sports gaming series that we do. I have a road to the show. I have a baseball road to the show with the Rockies pitcher that I'm currently doing. Currently working on. Uh, so if you guys like baseball, go ahead and check that out. And... Uh, that's literally all I got. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.